Tara. Welcome to A Loop Through a Loop. I'm here to check in with you again. It's been about a month and a half. And before May gets away, I wanted to come in because this is the only time I'm going to have. Because May is just bananas. So, I am wearing Caitlin Hunter's Reluctant Homeschooler. Uh, the pattern calls for a bulky yarn. I use patterns worsted, so I found my gauge and then adapted the basic construction for this sweater. And I've got two lovely pockets, but here's the thing with knitted pockets. I don't ever actually end up using them because it warps. Like sometimes I will, like I'll throw my phone in there just for a minute and then as soon as I can take it back out because it warps the fabric. So I don't know why I want pockets because if it's a knit item, I don't normally use that. I don't normally use them. Am I, is that the same for you? Or am I just being silly? I don't know, I don't know. But, but they're cute and I do like them. Um, and then I've got apple buttons, which sometimes I find endearing. And then sometimes I think just they look dumb. But, you know, that's why, you know, feelings, feelings are a very useful tool. But they, they shouldn't, you know, help us make all of our decisions. So I just leave them on there because I like them. I'm feeling very all-American soccer mom today. Got my ball hat on, my t-shirt dress from the thrift store, my handmade sweater. I'm ready to go. So, what have I been up to since we last caught up? Well, I have been knitting a lot of socks. And I've worked on other larger projects, but mostly it's kind of like I felt like this burst of energy and what I needed to do was just get it out of my system and socks were an easy way to do that. So I'll just go through the socks that I've finished since in the last month and a half. And they have a little bit of dog hair on it, so I'm hoping that you can look past that or don't even see it. I did finish my long plain black socks. Um, this is Knit Picks Stroll. In fact, all of the sock yarn that I'm using is Knit Picks Stroll, either just plain Knit Picks Stroll or in the tweed. So this is the colorway Wellies from the tweed line. And I bought two skeins, knit the socks toe up and just went until I ran out of yarn and I have worn these. In fact, I've worn every single pair that I'm about to show you and they are perfect for my rain boots. They are the perfect length. They keep my feet nice and toasty and yeah, I mean, it's just a pair of plain black socks. So this is not necessarily the most riveting to knit, but in the end, they'll get a lot of wear. Okay, next up I have a pair of socks that because of the color combination, I just call it Barbie and Pickles because this is the color of a pickle. This is the color of Barbie, I don't know. Um, I love these. These socks look fantastic with a pair of pink Nike shoes that I have. Like there's just enough um, these are tall, just tall enough that the green peeks out and then the pink collar or the pink collar, the pink cuff, and they look fantastic. These are plain vanilla socks, knit cuff down. I mean, as simple as a sock as you can get. I didn't use any patterns for these socks just because, I mean, you can find a good plain sock pattern anywhere. Some you pay for, some you get for free. So I don't really have any recommendations other than to say that uh, if you, for me, a good source 
that I've really enjoyed here recently is Summer Lee's book, The Sock Project, which has been talked about a lot because it just came out and it really is a good book. I do enjoy it. So speaking of Summer Lee, I have her Scrimshaw socks. So this is for me, um, kind of like playing around with color a little bit. I like this blue and this yellow together. And when it's kind of color blocked, the way it is with the toe and the heel, I think it looks awesome. The, the, um, I don't want to say it's a problem, but one thing I did notice is that in the color work where it's a little more detailed, things get muddy. And so you can't really read the patterning on it as clear as you can like in the heel and the toe. So this just kind of reminded me that like if something has a low contrast, I know in the back of my mind, I do really like it color blocked with low contrast with a, a little more intricate or detailed color work, bump up the contrast just a little bit um, if, if I'm wanting it to show up. So you can kind of see this gets kind of all muddied but this part down here, very clear, very clean where the color is. I mean, I still wear them, I still like them. And again, this is the Scrimshaw Socks by Summer Lee. That is a pattern in her book. And then the next pair of socks that I finished were ones that I just did on my own. I took just the plain sock recipe cuff down and all I did was insert a color work pattern. So this was a 64 stitch sock. This is a four stitch pattern repeat. And so, I mean, that's all, that's all it is. Like if you have, if you know your basic recipe, so, I mean, this is just what I do. If I know my basic recipe, I like 64 stitches in a sock. And I know I'm gonna do the ribbing, the heel, and the toe on a US one. For color work, I'm gonna bump it, and on Magic Loop. For the color work, I'm gonna bump it up to a US two, and I'm gonna use my tiny circulars. That's just my go-to. That's what I did for the color work on the Scrimshaw socks. And so that's what I did for this. This was a, just a plain sock. I didn't have any particular exact pattern for this all I did is I knew my preferences and what I liked and I knew my stitch counts and I just plugged in what I liked so again nitpick stroll just very plain this dusty blue and it's the the dots are a like a light baby pink and a light gray so light pink light gray very late 80s, early 90s, dried flowers, uh, kind of like that country, <laughs> like 90s country kind of a look. When I was a little kid, my parents' best friends had this couch that was this color blue, and it had little small, like little tiny little flowers on it. And this, this reminds me of that couch, like to a T. <sighs> So this was more of like a sentimental, nostalgic knit for sure. And super cozy comfy because it's color work all the way through. So it's like two layers of love hugging on your feet. Okay, so that's everything I finished. I finished four pairs of socks since the last time that we met. And now we're gonna get into what I have been whipping up. Uh, the first thing I think I'm gonna, sh I'm just gonna pull. Whatever I pull is what I'm going to show. Excuse me. <sighs> I am so sorry. Thank you <clears throat> for any bless yous. So I am still working on the wildflowers shawl that I'm turning into basically a lap blanket. <sighs> sorry again. Um, I'm still going. This is this is all I have left. So 
what I've done is I, I have 75-ish grams left, and I know 20 of it I need to do the ribbing and the bind off. So what I did is I, inside, if you can see, I wound 20 grams of the yarn, stuck a stitch marker in there, plus a little, ex gave myself a little extra room, placed the stitch marker, and then shoved it back in here. So then basically all I have to do is just pull this out, knit, 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 do the ribbing and be done. So I'm almost there. It's just stocking it in the round. Um, and I put a couple of rows in it here and there, um, but there are other projects that are getting most of my attention. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Maybe when I finish it, I'll kind of go back and do more details. Sorry for the sniffling. Um, let's see, another long project that I had started last time we talked and I have made progress but have not worked on it really at all recently. Or maybe I did show this to you last time. And I had gotten to the colors. Have I? Have I shown you this? So this is basically Pearl Soho's half and half triangle wrap using the golden ratio to put in this banner of stripe, this striped color here, just using leftovers. And it's just, this is just all of the linen quill that I have left over. That's what I used for this stripe here. That's kind of it. That's, that's it. I don't have much else to say about that. I've talked about the half wraps before. Other people have made them as well. Um, and like I said, um, probably when I make some more progress on it or finish it, then I'll go into more detail. But right now, this is kind of just set to the side because um, it doesn't have my focus right now. The two projects that have my focus like right now today at this moment is another pair of socks and a sweater. So um, we'll start with the sweater. I have been wanting to make the twigs by Joko Okamoto by, I mean, for quite a while now. And I know that other podcasters have made it and there's been a discussion, you know, about having it. So or making it and so I there was a part of me that was like well if everyone else is gonna make it I don't want to make it because because I don't know why <laughs> because I want it to be seen that I'm making it because I want to make it not just because I want to jump on a bandwagon <laughs> and then I realized that's just stupid just just make it like I've had the pattern printed out in the yarn put together planned out for months and I finally just had like it almost felt like this wall I don't know how to explain it it felt like just this wall like I wasn't making myself start it and it and I just kind of broke through that wall and have started it and I've really enjoyed it so I am using host garn a mix of coast and super soft and what I'm doing is I'm using <laughs> one of my platters to just keep my colors this is my main color my main color is the coast in tawny owl which I on purpose chose something that was close to my skin color um, which is not normally something I do at all but since I have these other colors I was like no I just, I just want to do it. So I'm not actually using the black. I just tap the black out in case I want to, but so far I haven't used the black at all. Um, this is lavender in the coastline. And I don't know what these three are. <laughs> I know it's incredibly helpful, <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't. I've kind of gotten away from keeping the ball bands on a lot of my things because I just, it's the color that I'm after. And with Holst, there's a lot of different shades. So like, I don't feel like we should ever feel like we have to have the exact shade that someone else used. Like if I used this orangey color, then 
there might be somebody, if I use this orangey color, then there might be somebody that doesn't want to use this orange color, but maybe they use something that's a little more pink, or maybe they use something that's a little more blue toned red, or you know what I mean? Like, you can use somebody else's colors as inspiration and then kind of just tweak them. So I feel like Holst is really good for that anyway. Okay, so my phone is being weird and recording weird, so I'm gonna go through this fast. So I'm working on my twigs, here it is. I split for sleeves. I used Jackie Rose's twigs as a reference for how to place the colors. Um, or at least how to get an idea of how I would like to repeat the colors. I'm using so many different colors that I don't want it to look so random, but it needs to be a little thought out. I don't, I, it's random, but it's not. But I couldn't tell you how I know where to put the colors other than I just kind of study the color placement, the size of the motif, and then make my decision from there. Makes sense? Anyway, my gauge is smaller than what the pattern calls for, so this actually fits quite lovely. It's not super oversized, which is fantastic because oversized things on me, I've discussed my body shape before, things that are too oversized on me, it just makes me look bigger than what I am, which is fine, it's whatever, but you know, Sometimes that's not the vibe I'm going for, okay? The next thing I'm working on is another pair of socks. So again, the same idea that I used for these blue socks, I'm using for these checked socks. This is just a plain vanilla sock. And all I did is used a US one on my cuff, heel, and toe. Used a US one, used a US two, for all the color work. I did do a heel flap and gusset. I realized I could have done an afterthought heel, but I just didn't want to, okay? I didn't want to, I didn't want to, because I've never done one, and it's not because I'm scared to do one, I just was not in the mental headspace to want to try to learn to do new things. I knit this sock, I don't want to say I was rage knitting, but kind of, I was. I was just like a bent up paw, Hit up ball of like nerves and stress and I was trying to calm myself down <laughs> and so I knit a sock now this check pattern is four stitches by four rows I could use two colors up to however many colors I wanted to use like most of the time I get all of my color inspiration from I shouldn't say all most of my color inspiration from Pinterest and there was a graphic a design that showed this check pattern with these colors. Now, some of the colors I had to modify just a little bit based on what yarn was available on Knit Picks. Again, this is on Knit Picks. And so this is what we have. So like the hot blue, or the hot blue, the hot pink is Pucker. This is Farmhouse. Um, the yellow is Treasure. Um, this lavender purple right here, this lavender purple is lavender fields. This orangey red is buoy. I don't really remember the name of the teal color, but there you go. And then I think, oh wait, the, the blue and kind of the mushroomy color are not Knit Picks Troll, they're Knit Picks Gloss, which I do also enjoy. So I finished one sock and I just cast on for the second sock, okay? And that's everything. I'm pretty sure my phone's gonna cut off in the middle, it like in the middle, which is why my editing is atrocious and why my podcasts are not, <laughs> like they're so choppy because my phone, my phone, I don't know what to do. If you have any suggestions about what to do and I'm doing, I have my headphones in, so if the audio is crappy, let me know, I guess. I don't know. Just any feedback. Or maybe just to say, Tara, it's okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to clean up my mess now, and I'll catch up with you. I normally try to do this once a month, but 
life is lifing. So I'll catch up with you next time.